Today I had a powerful experience. I did a peaceful death meditation. And yes, you might be, oh my god, that's morbid. This is what you do in your free time? Well, yes, I love coaching. I love self-development. Basically, that's in my veins. But it was also a beautiful opportunity of reframing what is actually important in life. Some religions, such as Buddhism and Hinduism, focus on reframing the relationship that we have towards death. Because on the one hand, so many people are scared of death. And on the other hand, death is natural. It's just one of the two only certainties that we have in life. The first one is that, that we were born, and the second one is that everybody's gonna die. And if you feel a huge resistance towards what I'm saying, then that's your sign that there is some wisdom for you in spending some time with the ever-passing nature of life. When you live with awareness that your time in this lifetime your time in the constellation that you are, with the parents that you have, with the partner, the kids, the grandparents, the friends, is limited. Then it evokes a very rich potential for gratitude for the present moment, for everything that you've been blessed with. And also an invitation to zoom into the things that are truly important in life and invest your time there rather than allow it to dissipate through your fingers.